All right, everybody, we're going to make a squash and stretch uh, bouncing ball animation using flip a clip. We sort of did something um, similar in Blender way back in the day, but now we're going to sort of hand draw it for the most part. And we're going to just review those things, those, I, those concepts you uh, learned about in watching that uh, video on squash and stretch. Uh, I'm going to choose a background here and then I'll just create and let's go ahead and animate this. Um, make sure you can see this. All right. Now, um, just one note, if you're working on your phone here, it's going to be best if you turn this sideways. Well, I'll leave that up to you since you're bouncing the ball vertically, if you want to do it vertically and your phone is rather small, maybe it's easier. So I'll let that, uh, I'll let you choose that. Um, now let's go ahead and draw first. And on the first frame, we're just going to um, draw a good circle. You can use your tools here. You might have to do it a few times. I'm certainly not uh, used to drawing on a tablet, so um, do it, draw it as many times as you can. Uh, I'm going to use the lasso tool here to select this and just make it a little smaller. So I have some room, and that'll be our frame one. Um, and let's see, you do want to make sure your onion skin is on just so you can see your previous frame. And we're going to do a lot. What's nice about Flip a Clip is you can kind of copy and paste as needed. So I'm going to copy this. Again, use your lasso tool. Use the copy up here. I'm going to go to frame two, paste with that clipboard icon, and then I can just move this down. Now, um, since we're doing a bounce here, as this ball is going to fall, it's going to gain speed. So we're going to start kind of close together. And then we're, as it falls, we're going to get farther apart. Um, on frame three, I'm going to paste again. This time I'm going to move this down a tiny bit more. And I'm going to start my uh, stretch. So now, as it said in the video, when you do this, you want to keep the same volume pretty much. So if you squeeze in, make sure you stretch uh, stretch down. So you're kind of keep, keeping the same amount of mass. Um, move that down a little more. So that's going to be frame three. I'm going to copy this again. Go to frame four, paste it, and now I can start to kind of make some distance here. Again, I'm going to stretch this vertically, squeeze it in. And remember, I'm aiming to get down here on this bounce and the squash down here around frame eight. So we're about halfway there. Um, I'll copy, go to five, paste, and then I'm going to move it quite a bit. And I'll do one more stretch. So, um, and again, I'll squeeze it in, copy it, paste it. Now at this point, I'm going to start to get close to my bounce. And this is actually going to be um, kind of the lowest point. So I'll leave it here before I start. Um, I'm going to copy this, go to 7, and then on 7 what I want to do is I want to kind of put this ball back to normal. Notice the bottom is at the same point because this is where my ground is. It'll be an invisible ground. I'm going to copy, I'm going to paste, and this is where I'm going to do the actual squash part.
and that will be frame 8. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay, looks pretty good. Now we're pretty much going to copy what we did except going backwards. Um, so I'll go to frame 9 um, and if you want what you can do is you can go back to frame 7 after that uh, before that squash, I'm going to copy this. This will also be frame 9. I'll go to 10, and that's going to be frame 6, or the same as frame 6. So I'll copy 6 and paste it onto 10. 5, I'm going to copy and paste it onto 11. Now again, we're kind of going back up. This is um, going to stretch again as it goes up. So I'll grab four, copy it, paste it on 12, I'll grab three again, copy it, paste it on 13, I'll grab two, Copy it, paste it on 14, and then I'll grab one, copy it, and paste it on 15. And I'm actually going to add one more frame here. And this is going to kind of be the peak of the bounce. So I'll paste again, but I'm going to just move it a tiny, tiny bit up. And so that, that'll kind of smooth in the top of that bounce. And let's check what that looks like. So you notice that little bit of extra kind of peak from that last frame that we added in. This is kind of what you want. You want it to look relatively smooth, relatively, relatively realistic. If you want to dress this up, you want to do it in color you can um, so uh, do what you think you want this is just gonna be another exercise I'm gonna give you another squat and stretch where you can kind of um, get a little more creative but uh, you're gonna finish this exercise you're gonna turn it in so let's do that now uh, we'll just make a movie uh, YouTube 720p is fine. If you want to try something else, TikTok, um, put it to a song, Instagram, just make sure I can get your uh, link and your movie. Um, so I'll do a YouTube 720, I'll make movie, and then it's ready to share. You're going to turn that in on Classroom. And you're good to go.